If you watch a lot of gardening videos and you pay attention, in the background of many of the top channels, you'll see one of these. This is a green stock vertical growing system. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and I discuss everything gardening so that you can become a better gardener. Today, let's discuss the green stock. This is an exciting day because I get to set up my green stock vertical growing system. It basically enables you to grow an entire garden on a deck or a patio. And I'm gonna be setting it up right here just outside my kitchen door. I think this is ideal for growing things like herbs and salad crops because you can just duck outside, pluck off what you need, go back in and have it all ready for dinner got a nice base. The base has roller balls on it so that you can move it around, take full advantage of the sun or shade if you need it. The top is a reservoir that you can fill with water and when it comes time to fertilize you put the fertilizer there. And the key is these interlocking layers and it's in these layers that I'll be putting my soil and planting each of the plants. It's gonna be a very easy setup, so let's get to it. So what we're going to do is just fill each of these layers with soil, stack them, and they'll be ready for planting. Now, for the potting mix that you use, I suggest you spend some money, get a quality mix, because this is a relatively closed system. Everything that the plant needs to grow is going to be right here in the layer. We're not going to have earthworms. We're not going to have a lot of soil organisms. So we've got to make sure that we're giving the plants the best soil that we can. If you're using a bag mix, just pour it in at this point. It takes about a cubic foot of, a, of whichever potting mix you choose per layer. And so depending on the size bag you get, like this one is a one cubic foot bag, that'll be enough to fill the layer. This is a four layer system. I'll need roughly four cubic feet. Now, I only did that for demonstration purposes because I like to make my own soil blend. I've done that ahead of time. I'm using a mix of two parts peat, two parts mushroom compost, and one part vermiculite. And then to that, I've added a balanced 555 fertilizer. So in a container this size, it's about half a cup of fertilizer. And this is actually what I plan to use for the rest of the container. So I'm just going to continue to fill up using my soil blend. Now we want this to remain loose. You don't need to compact the soil as you put it into place. There will be some settling. I do encourage that you start with a moist mix because a lot of the organic material that is used in potting mixes like peat takes a long time to absorb water. So if you start with moist potting mix, you're really giving yourself a head start. And so once we have the soil level approaching the top, now we'll take one of these reservoir discs and stick it on the middle. And this is the secret to this whole system because there are holes around the exterior of each of these. So as they fill with water, that water will be distributed into the individual cells. So try to line up the holes with each of these growing areas. And then we'll stack another layer on top. These are designed to overlap and be offset slightly. So you just look at the little guide on the bottom and fit it over the lower level. The whole system comes together by just filling each tier and moving it into position. 
Now, they come in three different sizes. There's three tier, four tier, and five tier. I've got the four. And I suggest it's a little bit easier if you go ahead and fill while it's still on the ground and then lift into position. I find that not quite so cumbersome as trying to lift the bags and fill from the top. So, with it all ready to go, we'll just lift, put it on top of the previous layer using the guides, slips right into position. We'll take the top reservoir, put it in, and it's all ready to go. I could start planting right away, but it's high noon for me, and I do not suggest putting seedlings in the ground under harsh sunlight. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I'll get some shade on my deck. It'll cool down, and a little later this afternoon, that's when I'll be putting the plants in. To make sure that the soil stays moist, it doesn't dry out before planting, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the reservoir now. Now, if you're doing this on a cloudy day, or if it's nice and cool and you don't have that harsh sun, you can put plants and seeds in as you build. I think it's a little bit easier to wait till it's all together, and then I'll show you how I put the seedlings and the seeds in. So we have a little bit of an overcast. I'm in some shade now, and I can start these plants in this vertical container. These are plants that I was growing downstairs from seed. I've got some mustard and lettuce and sage and thyme, and I've got more that I'll be planting. I just had my hands full with this first load. The idea is to put them in just like you would any other bed in your garden. Do think about putting smaller plants at the top and larger plants at the bottom, because as those larger plants grow, like beans or peas, you want to give them lots of vertical space. But these smaller ones, we can just put them at the top. The planting is just like you would in any other bed. I'm going to be using some Osmocote fertilizer when I transplant these young plants. A scoop is good enough for an entire level, and we've got six plants on this level, so I'm just going to sprinkle in a portion of the scoop and work it in, just like the directions say, into the top three inches of soil. Now, there is that little bit of a balanced fertilizer that I put in my soil mix, but this Osmocote will help the plants as they grow and give them more of a boost. We'll go ahead and remove the plant from the container, and then I'm just going to dig out a hole, place the plant in, and then just firm the soil around it. Press it in so we have real good root contact. And I have a mustard planted on my top level. And it's a simple matter of just repeating the process all the way around. I'll even put plant tags in so I know what I'm growing. You can grow just about anything you want in a system like this. and it fills up in no time at all. You can also sow seeds like you would in any other bed. Now, you are limited to each of these individual pots. So, for instance, I'm gonna grow some peas, and I'll put three seeds in some of these individual pots. And if you think of them as a pot, it may be easier to figure out your spacing and to figure out how many plants you would put in each of these. Because bigger plants, really only one per pocket. Whereas some of the smaller plants, you can get up to three per pocket. I even got a little package of mixed lettuce from green stock. So I'll be adding that. And to add to my sage and my thyme, I'll be growing a lot of basil. All of this is going to be just outside my kitchen door. For seeds that are sown very close to the surface, like lettuce and basil, 
To keep it evenly moist, you might need to come in with a spray bottle to keep the soil surface wet. With my plants in and my seeds sown and the reservoir firmly attached, now I can actually just bring my hose in and fill up the reservoir. This will help ensure a lot of good moist soil for these roots to start growing in. Don't be too worried about overwatering because the system will drain all the way through. And if you have one of the movers on the bottom, there's actually a drain tube for the water to come out. If you don't have the mover and you have this in a stationary location, it's just going to drain right out the bottom. You may have noticed that I didn't fill these tiers with soil all the way to the brim. I did that on purpose for a few different reasons. These are about 10 inches deep. So even with a two inch gap between the lip and the soil surface, I still have eight inches of really good soil for the roots to grow into. My weather is very hot, harsh sun strong winds. So by leaving this little two inch wall around the young seedlings that are going to emerge, I can give them a little bit extra protection. It also throws a little bit of shade to the soil. Well, these are mostly cool season plants, so they can benefit from shady conditions. And you may have noticed I didn't say anything about hardening off these plants. Well, because I'm hardening off in place. I brought these plants up I put them in the ground when we're in the shade, and I'll continue to keep them in the shade for most of the next week. I'll move them out gradually into the sun through the process of hardening off, and then in about a week, they'll be strong enough to stand up to the sun all day long. That's one of the greatest advantages to this system is you can move it. And I fully plan on moving it to take advantage of the sun, and in this case, when I need the shade. Everything you need to get started is in the box that I opened. Some very easy instructions to follow. As I mentioned, the mixed greens, which are certified organic seed, and there's even a little package of worm casting fertilizer. I'm planning on growing primarily salad crops so I can just pop out the back door. But you really aren't limited at all by what you choose to grow in this green stock system. Consider strawberries cascading down, or maybe pepper plants popping up. If you think about trellising needs, you can grow cucumbers and tomatoes. There's a lot of options with this system. And consider succession planting as well, because when this lettuce is harvested, I'll plant something else in the same pot. And it's got 24 pots, 24 different options. You can mix it however you want. They do come in different colors. I like the terracotta, that's what I went with. If you wanna order, I've got a link below. And if you use Gardener Scott at checkout, you'll get a $10 discount, which is really hard to beat. And after the initial investment, this is the kind of system that you'll have for many, many years. I do have other videos in this container gardening series. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. To see those videos and many others, go ahead and click on one of these links and continue watching. I'm Gardner Scott. Enjoy gardening. <music>